Hey everybody, welcome back. These are some entitled passengers that should just stay home next time. We're gonna take you off the aircraft. Me too. Yep, you're gonna have to get off the aircraft. Yeah, okay? and you're out there, yep. and I compliment you in that way. Anyways. She's a representative of the aircraft. They don't want you flying on their plane today, okay? So you're gonna have to get After off the aircraft. After they made us wait and wait and wait. Yeah, that's the way it is, but mm -hmm. right now I'm gonna And that's you. fine, and I will respect that. Okay. So I'm gonna need you to grab your bag and just. And I did not do aircraft. anything actually. Just we'll talk about it outside. Disruptive. Besides, speak my mind. Okay. And you know what? I live in America. And that's what right. America's about. Calm down. No, you know Listen that. Grab no. your bag. You know that. Whoa, the you drama. I'm here you know for it. On the plane, if you really, if you are ever gonna okay. put hands on grab me, grab your bag. No, I will grab my bag. But you know I'm gonna sit here and sit up. No one's gonna put their hands on you. All right. Yeah, yeah, you won't. Yeah, yeah, you won't. Okay, but I need you to get up. You need me to get up. You may need me to get up, but you know what? I feel my need to do as a person, just like Jesus Christ. You need to call. No, no, I'm gonna do call what I need to do. I'm gonna say what I need to do, and if you, you're gonna do whatever you feel you need okay. to do to me, right? right? So I'm gonna say what I am meant to right, say. Sir. No, to everybody. Stand up, man. Yeah, everybody is you're doing this. You're gonna get arrested if you do not I'm stop. I'm already gonna get arrested. You're gonna get arrested if you don't stand up and get off the I'm aircraft. Probably already gonna. Do you want to get arrested? I really then honestly, stand up and get off the aircraft. That's all you I have really, to do. It's not about that, man. Okay. You can I'm going to ask you one more me. time, and then I'm going to have to put my but hands on you. Okay? For what reason? Because you're not Let listening. Let me ask you that. You're literally you're, getting you're detained, bro. Just leave. That's fine. That's fine. Why do you have a right to put your hands on me, though? Because you no, literally no, won't no, leave. No, what am I doing that makes you feel like you have a right to put your hands on me? You're not leaving! Get out! Can you tell me that? Can you just help me to understand as a as a human that is alive? Why why do you seriously though? Talk to the back and tell him we need to remove no, it. it really is. So that's my right. It's like you need to no, we're getting Shro Wang is charged with resisting an officer, trespassing, and interference with aircraft operations. Adelaide could receive a maximum jail time of up to four years. Was it worth it? Like, I'm guessing that that was probably over the fact that she wasn't wearing a mask. Is it worth it, though, to have a fight about your civil liberties or whatever it is? Like, really, was it worth it? I don't think it was. She just wanted to have a nice little conversation. She was probably pretty drunk, too. But, like, I don't understand how you're not embarrassed. Like, I'd be so embarrassed. Crazy times, crazy world we live in, honey. First class passenger mean, flaunts her morning. privilege. This is so small. What, what do you mean? For the privilege of sitting in first class, and you're abusing that privilege. What do you, what do you mean I'm abusing it? The music is so loud, I cannot hear myself think. It's giving me a headache. But I'm using headphones. You're not. Yeah, I'm using I headphones. Can hear it. Sorry, your majesty. All right, sorry, I'll turn I, it down. I can hear uh, uh, it. All right. It's down the whole carriage. All right, I'll turn it down, yeah, but all you gotta do is ask nicely. Well, just turn it down. I've got a first class ticket. It does not matter if I've got a foot, if I've got one or not. Who are you? Are you the training inspector? Well, I'm not the training inspector, of course not. If you haven't got a first class ticket, you shouldn't even be sitting here. What do you, but why not? Why? Who says I've not got one? I do have one, in, well, in fact. Me, no, I, 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 I didn't show you anything. I didn't show you anything. Get that music quiet. But I the music's not even playing now. Think. Well, what, thinking about what? You're reading the newspaper. Yes, and your music is disturbing me. But how is it disturbing you? It's, I'm using headphones. I can hear it. It's blasting out of your phone or whatever feeling. No, I was using headphones, you're lying. I'm not lying. Yes, you are. How can I be lying when it's been blasting in my ears? And giving but it's not blasting in your ears. And all I said is, all you gotta do is ask nicely, okay, yeah? Not not shout at me or anything like that, yeah? Call me names, whether blah, blah, yeah? And then I'll turn it I down. I can any name. Yes, I you, you feel like it. No, you've, you've, you've been rude. I have not been rude. It's the way you are interpreting it. You're rude. I'd like to have an argument, please. How am I rude? How am I rude? That You're just saying to me, oh, what do you mean, oh, because I'm first class? Oh, sorry. You should respect other people. I'm sorry, I missed the memo. Are we not allowed to, like, listen to music in first class? Of course! Okay, listen. I was kind of on her side. If you're playing music out loud on public transit, you're annoying. If you're playing music in your headphones, that's another story. It's a privilege to be sitting here. Respect a privilege. Other it's a privilege. It is. Okay, and why is it a privilege? Well, it is a privilege. Not everyone can 
a full first class, and if you come to first class, you will expect. Okay, so. Okay, maybe you you reading the newspaper is offending. Reading the newspaper is what? Oh. Is offending me. You may read it yourself. No, I don't. No, I don't want to read it. But I'm just saying, yeah. Is this so is this lady real? Is like your music is offending my ears. How is it offending you though? Because it's not even that loud. But it's not that loud. Well, you might not think so. Maybe you like playing loud music and listening to loud music. I don't. Stop! 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 I think this is more about the fact that she doesn't think that he should be in first class. I think it's really about that. Bob. Please, would you tone it down now? Alright, but I don't know, I just think you're being a bit rude. The hoity toity attitude, man. I am asking you to turn down that loud music, please. Okay, you said please. I'm gonna keep it on though. It's kind of ironic that someone who claims to have like class and privilege doesn't even say the word please. Thought y'all were supposed to have some manners. How long did it take to say please? Literally, if you wanna act like you're better than other people, at least have some manners about it, you know? You can buy first class, can't buy class. Oh, snap! I will find your date, date of birth, and address. I will know your social security number. I will know your marital status. I will know your mother's maiden name. I will know your preferred pronouns. I will know your zodiac sign. I will know the date of your last period. <laughs> I will know your Myers-Briggs type. I will know your Hogwarts house. <laughs> I will know your rice purity test score. <laughs> Sick, how do you know all that? That's nice. I don't even know when the date of my next period is. Honey, she just comes whenever she wants. If I'm feeling a little fat and sassy, usually cause my period's coming, but I can't tell when she is. Surprise, mother Love getting all fat and sassy. Oh, I am on the pink. I am on the pink. Drunk Karen makes her way onto my United Airlines flight. Oh, take it easy. This isn't her luggage, Vince. How embarrassing. Oh my. But I need you to come with me to the front of the airplane, please. Okay. My name is Alex. What's your name? My name is Lauren. Lauren, okay. I promise that I'm going to do what I can to get you home, but I need Today, it's Karen. Are you meant to be? Are you meant to be? I'm not either. Yeah, I just need you to come to the front of the airplane. We can talk about it later. I know. I'm worried. This isn't the place. Okay, I'm fine. Where we are right now is not the place to have this discussion. So, if you, Lauren, if you could just come with me, we can talk about it at the front of the airplane, okay? I promise. Just come with me, please. I've got a connected flight. Let's go. <laughs> it's this sad face for me i forget whose comedy bit it was but like why is it that people forget the fact that like when you like fly it's actually a quite remarkable thing like we should all be stoked as hell to get on an airplane literally flying in the air we're practically in space and yet flying is such a horrific experience for some people. It's clearly a little bit difficult for this person. She's like, I hate flying. Oh my God, I oh, hate it so much. Yeah, this is why people hate flying, dude. Imagine being that Karen, you know? Like every time I go to the airport, it's like, mm, who's gonna freak out? Who's gonna freak out? Someone's gonna freak out. You know someone's gonna freak out. But like the difference between the people having the meltdowns and the people who aren't having meltdowns is that we refrain from having the public meltdown. Like we all want to have a meltdown. We do. <laughs> We have not evolved from just being a crying baby on an airplane. We've just like gotten better at hiding it. But imagine being that Karen that reverts to the baby status in front of everyone. I simply cannot. I'm serious. I'm waiting right here for the police. It's ridiculous. This guy's waking out. I'm going to leave this fucking airplane before I kill somebody. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Great. Grab my radio. He is scary. Is he going to come He's back? apparently been kicked off a plane. I want to file a report. I'm staying oh. right here. He's so back. Oh, God. Report. He's back. No, 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 no. This is unfair. She approached me and came after me. You weren't there. You were not there. No, you were not. Bring the witnesses right here then. You're, then you don't have a witness. 
you understand what court is? When you have a witness, they show up and then they act on your behalf. No. But you don't have any of those. No. So but you claim you arrested. do. You're wrong. I'm going to sue the out of you people. Wow. Because one of us is an attorney and it's not you. <laughs> I'm filing charges on you. I want that lady. I want her name. I want her number. I want her down here. And, and I want all the witnesses. Because you just said no witnesses, right? Right? No witnesses, right? No witnesses. Witnesses. You should get out of my face, bro. You should just not wow, include yourself this guy in this. Bro. Just... Shirt's coming off, guys. Shirt's no coming off. Hit anybody, dude. You're not Buddy, buddy, you were not involved in this whole thing. You are a third party after the whole thing. But so I'm supposed to get shit on, right? Because you want to side with her, but you didn't see any of it happen. Right? Vape. You just call him a vape? <laughs> you vape. No one's good for you, bro. What could have possibly happened? It says he got kicked off a plane, right? Literally, what could have possibly happened to make this guy so upset? It says he got kicked off a plane. Going on flights is very simple. You show up, check your bags, go through security, sit at the gate, usually longer than you would like to. You get on the plane. You sit there. You get to your destination, you get off, you get your bags. It's not that difficult. This guy didn't want to pay for his bus ticket. I'll pay you when I get back. Cause I'm, I've got no money now. I'll, I'll get, I'm just filling up the police report. You don't have to do that, mate. You don't need to do that, mate. I'll pay, I'll pay you myself when I get back, mate. I've got no bank account. I can't do nothing without a bank, mate. I'll give you the money when I get back. I will, I will get to the no, we won't. Store. When I get back to Northampton, I can pay then, but I can't pay now. Right then now. get off the bus. You don't worry about it. I normally have a bus pass, but I haven't got it. He was staring at us for the whole journey before this. It was extremely yeah, creepy. Yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah, well, not, not, not going anywhere. I've just let you know. Yeah, not guilty, you are, man. Guilty, can confirm guilty. guilty this bus it. didn't move for 15 Not minutes. I get secondhand embarrassment from the idea of holding up a bus, a plane, or a train all on your own because you refuse to get off. I simply cannot fathom what would possess someone to have a meltdown that makes everybody else late. <laughs> No! Don't you understand? These people are going to be late because of you! How dare you! <laughs> that cop seems really chipper. <laughs> I think they're there for you, buddy. You guys got a problem disrespecting a passenger? Calling me. What is that? Here's what it is. Then I watched your, your language go, next time. Go, go, go. some charges on go. you. Last thing, go. I think the only one getting some charges is you, Sir, buddy. Can you give me a different officer? I'll give him a different Wait, what? I'm sorry. I'm not with the draft. I'm not with the draft. I don't care. You ruined everybody's trip. You ruined our whole trip. So this is what I'm saying. Like, why? Like, how can you? How were you not embarrassed? I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. Can you get me another officer? Yeah, he did say that, didn't he? Does he think he's at a restaurant asking for a different server? Why does he need another officer? I don't like this one. Can I get a different one? <laughs> no, you can't. You've lost that privilege, I think. You didn't have it to begin with, but you would have lost it. Uber drivers, how do you deal with rude or entitled passengers? So basically the story here is this Uber driver was driving their customer downtown in the financial district and all the buildings messed with their GPS and their GPS stopped working and they got a little bit lost. And when the driver got lost, the passenger lost their temper. So the driver asked for advice. What would other drivers do in that situation? Here are some of the responses. This person says normally in any situation where passengers being rude, they stop the car and the ride and tell the passenger to leave. This person says, get out. The person below also says that they stop the ride the second the customer gets rude and in fact they'll stop the ride and say I apologize that my service was unsatisfactory so I'm going to stop the ride here. You can get out and I will allow you to find a driver that suits your expectations. Periods. This person above says whenever someone's being rude to them, they tell them how much they're getting paid and say, I don't know if you're expecting a hundred dollar service because this is not a hundred dollar ride. They went on to specify that they do the best they can, they're always friendly to their passengers, 
but they have to inform the passenger that they can't be expecting tea and crumpets in the back of the seat because this is not that kind of ride. And then a bunch more people just said, it's not worth the time dealing with an annoying or rude passenger. Just get them out of the car and the ride there, tell them to leave. If Buddy was mad about you getting lost and being late as a result of that, then he can just get out of the car and find another one. He's gonna be late anyway. How do you deal with entitled passengers? Nice little boot. Boot skidoo. Subscribe.